Hello everybody and welcome to Monday's Assembly and today I'm really excited because we are doing something a little bit different. So today I am interviewing Jess. Now the other week Sue told us all about Forest School and which articles link with Forest School. So Jess and I thought we would tell you all about the articles to do with P.E. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, Lou. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Thank right, you. now, what articles are you thinking about in terms of P.E.? So I've got a few here. The first one I've got is Article 28. Oh, I have the right to a good quality education. So how do you give um, the pupils of Oscott Manor a good quality education in P.E., Jess? So a while ago, I did my degree. Uh, in dance actually but that has helped me so much to learn different skills to help you help the children at Oscott Manor to have a good quality of education so throughout my years I've worked at lots of different schools which has given me a wide range of skills to create exciting new lessons that you will enjoy and everyone will enjoy and access and that will have that will give you all a nice right to education and good quality lessons. So Jess, what's the next article that you were thinking about? The next one is Article 23. Ah, fantastic. So we're here at Oscott Manor, which is a school specially built for children with autism. So what do you have to do with your PE lessons um, to adapt them for these children? So no matter how you communicate, or how you move or how physical you are you're always able to access the lessons and join in so anything so even if it's just hopping over a hurdle or throwing a ball and catching a ball there's always something that you can do in the lessons oh jess i can see you've got article 29 i yeah. love article 29 because this is all about developing young people's talents so jess do you think we've got anybody, any budding sportsmen or women at Oscott Manor? There's too many to name, but I'll try and think of a few. So, right, we've got a couple who are amazing at tube ball, which is great because we've only started it this year. So that would be Jojo and Mackenzie. They're both fantastic because they're real team players and they help each other out. So that was great to see. Fantastic. Uh, one of the person is Yusef. He's brilliant at football, he's very enthusiastic and he always wants to get the ball Aww. onto his feet. He's good at catching as well. Brilliant. And someone else recently, uh, who's never done this before, is Persia. He's very good at javelin, which is brand new to him as well. Um, so he can throw it very far, so he's brilliant at that. And someone else, uh, Farzan in uh, Key Stage 5, is probably one of the fastest in the school because we've been timing them at the track and he's brilliant so really really good very talented people here. thank you so commonwealth games watch out for our scott manor so, jess you've had a lovely selection of articles there Thanks. but you've missed out my favorite article 12 you have the right to a voice so jess do you ever give the pupils a choice of what to do in PE? 100%. Fantastic. I always say, is there anything you want, any specific game you want to do to warm up? Mm -hmm. And there is always requests. Uh, for example, Annas uh, always asks to play sharks and fishes. Always without fail, but a few times because some of the other children would like to play other things, so I'll give them a chance to pick as well. The same with key stage five class bills class they want to do that they call it bulldog but they like the same game as well and they'll play it over and over again um but if there's a specific game that they have in mind or they want to play i'll say well, would you like to play this if not i've got a new game that you know we could play so i um, think that's really exciting jess because i think you've introduced some variety to pa jess have you ever had any feedback off the pupils about your lessons yeah a few times dara has said this is the best day ever or Aww. best lesson ever and he's had uh today actually we were playing we did athletics and uh, there was a ball on a cone 
and there was a challenge to hit the ball off the cone with the javelin and he did it and it was just the best day ever. Well, he said it was the best day ever. So it's nice to hear that. So Jess, to wrap up this assembly, I'd just like to say thank you so much for the exciting opportunities that you offer to all of our pupils. And thank you for talking to me for our assembly. That's okay, I just absolutely love it here. I've had such a good time every day, such a laugh with everyone. We have great peer lessons, they're just lovely. Um, everyone engages and it's just a great place to be. It's obviously a rights respecting school, isn't it, it is. Jess? It is. So, Jess, would you say we're a silver rights respecting school or a gold rights respecting school? Gold. I don't even have to think about that. Everyone's <laughs> very respectful in my lessons, well, very safe. It's just lovely to serve them all joining in here.